Hey guys, Erias here and welcome along to another video. Welcome back to Gran Turismo 7 where we have another new online time trial where you can earn 2 million credits for just 2 minutes work if you get the lap right. And after all the positive feedback that you guys have given me on the previous two that I've done of these, I'm going to take you through once again my entire process of how I got a gold time and it's much more simpler than you would imagine. But before we get into this, guys, if you do get value from this video, if you could do me a favor and hit that subscribe button, it would be fantastic. Only 55% of people who watch my content are subscribed to the channel, and I'm trying to get, as many of you know, to 100,000 by the end of the year. So as I say, if you could hit that subscribe button, if this helps you in any way, or if you're enjoying the content on the channel, it would massively help me out. With that being said, let's head over to Japan then, to get you those 2 million credits as quickly and as easily as possible here on Gran Turismo 7. Okay, so it's that time again. Another two weeks have passed and we've got a new online time trial. It's at Kyoto Driving Park and you've got one choice of car, which is the Volkswagen IDR, the 2019. So that's the electric car. So we have to beat one minute, well, the world record at the moment as it stands and you may need to improve this and this may need this may improve so you might need to be faster than this to get into the gold position time but the fastest is a one minute 54.587 and currently the gold which is three percent of this time is a 158.024 so you get within that then you get yourself two million credits so as always we before we do anything and I'm going to run through this and do it in real time for you we are gonna break down the lap time so we're gonna go and get the fastest lap and we are gonna have a look now this is a bit of a longer circuit so this is gonna be a bit trickier I think to get than the previous two that I've done one of these on but the process and the and the you know the way I go about things is exactly the same so what I've done here is before we've even turned a wheel on track as always we go to the replay and we break down the circuit so first things first if you don't know your way around the circuit you need to know your way around the circuit first go do it in circuit experience okay so this guide is going to be on the premise and for people who already know their way around it. it's quite a long track as you can see so make sure that you know um, you know your way around first otherwise it doesn't matter what you do it's going to be incredibly difficult so what i've done is i have put in the race replay options i put all the display info on which means that we're going to get his throttle inputs or their throttle inputs their braking inputs all that sort of stuff so we know exactly what they do i put it in chase cam so it's easier for, easier for us to pick out brake markers and yeah we're going to get straight into it but before we do let's just check here actually so this is quite a big track right but i'm going to break it down into one two three four five six seven pieces of information right to make it nice and easy because there's gonna be certain parts of the track that you just need to get through all right and you don't need to go into great detail with it so we're going to see, figure out the, break, the braking zones for those first seven bits. So let's have a look. There's no gears involved because it's electric, so it's just one. Where's he braking for the first bit? Oh, wow. Okay. So he is braking for turn number one. Let's have a look. I think it's just after the marshal's post. So let's just have a look here. Just after the marshal's post. Get yourself around there. Just be careful not to run wide on the exit. And then I believe it's just flat through here. Yeah. It's just going to be flat all the way up the hill. This thing's got so much downforce that you don't need to worry about it. We're already 20 seconds into the lap. Right. Lift off the throttle. When you get to the top of the hill, there's another marshal's post. Okay. So there's another marshal's post here turn in and lift off he doesn't do that he keeps his foot in for a little bit longer but it will get you a good foundation right so first um uh turn number one 
just after the first marshal's post top of the hill just after the marshal's post so there we go so just a lift but it's only a slight lift and you're straight back on it you'll get a feeling for it anyway pretty quickly but it's, it's pretty simple going so far so where's he breaking for this next right hander okay let's see where he's breaking so he's braking about halfway between the first and second chevron. He's already starting to brake. You can see he's braking down there. Right. So he's going to brake here. Really important though to keep it nice and tight. Do not take too much speed into here because then you make the angle tighter for the next corner. Just get through this. Right. Don't worry about it too much. Just get through it. Let's see if there's any lifting here. I'm not anticipating any. No, it's flat all the way through there. Marshall's post again. Lift, half, break. Through you go. Be careful not to run too wide on the exit. The next braking zone is just coming up. Right, so the yellow tyres. And once again, keep it nice and tight. So just to recap here. Braking between the first and second white lines in the corner. I'm going to put it all up on the screen so you know and you don't forget because it is quite difficult to remember on a longer circuit like this. So in between the first and second lines, just get through here, flat through this bit as well. There's another Marshall's post, which is a bit of a theme through here, to be honest with you. Marshall's post, get turned in, break a little bit, get on the power as early as you dare. And then we've got some yellow and blue tyres on the left. Get over to the left-hand side. There's also some yellow paint on the floor, which you can use as a marker. So let's get through here. Look how slow he is just to open up the corner up the hill. Then it's just get up and over here. The next one is going to be the hairpin. This is why it's so important to know your way around this track anyway. Nice and easy. There's a big 35R written on the floor. That's where he's braking. So 35R, okay? Let's check it again. Obviously, you don't need to brake as late as this guy, so just do it before if you need to. That's a great marker to understand where you are. Nice and slow, keep it nice and tight, and then we're almost at the end of the lap already. Just get through here, guys. Just get through here. You'll know what works for you, and you'll know how quickly you can take it. Then you're into the final corner. Marshall's post once again. Break at the Marshall's post. Get yourself down, keep it nice and tight. Hug the um, rumble strip, and then you're away. And that is how you break down the lap. So let's do it in real time. Marshall's post. Keep it nice and tight. Flat, all the way up the hill, okay? All the way up the hill. We're looking for the next Marshall's post. We've been doing this for about seven minutes. That's how easy it is to break down a lap, even as long as this. Marshall's post on the right. Get it turned in, lift. Only for a little bit, then you're back on the power. Make sure you get those left wheels on the rumble strip. Then we're looking for our breaking point, which is between the first and second white line on the left. Make it the first white line if you want, and then, make, uh, then bring your way forward. Keep it nice and tight here, then just get through this bit. Just get through it as quick as you can. There's no real art to it. Flat through here, through the quick left and the right. You can do this just because there's so much downforce on this thing. Looking again for another Marshall's post on the right-hand side. Get it turned in. Bit of a break, a lift. Keep it nice and tight. Don't run wide on the exit. You can look for that Marshall's post, actually, to make sure you don't go too far. White, uh, sorry, yellow paint on the floor. Slam the anchors on. Keep it so tight because you've got to get yourself up the hill. You'll find yourself in the armco on the left if you're not sure. Uh, or if you come out too quickly, sorry. 35 R, slam on the anchors once more. Keep it nice and tight for the hairpin. It's all about the exit here. All about the exit. Slow in, fast out, as they say. Just get through here. No real art to it. Get through it as quick as you can. Look for the marshal's post on the left-hand side. Get those right-hand wheels onto the rumble strip there. Straighten out and just go, go, go. And that is how he's done it. Let's see if I can listen to my own advice and get that gold time. Let's go. So no cuts even in this. I'm just going to do it in real time. 
Oh, there's our money from the last one. Thank you very much. Right. Rent a specified car. If you don't have it, that's absolutely fine. So the time we're looking for is a 158. So anything under a 158 will do us at the moment. At the moment. Now, I've never driven this car, so bear with me. But I feel it's important for me to show you that what I do works. What I do works. So I'm also going to put... Um, I don't think we're going to have one that is... Yeah, let's not worry about that. I'm going to put a ghost on anyway, because I like putting ghosts on. It gives me something to chase. But expect them to fly up the road. Okay. Um, well, let's get let's get straight into it. Let's see how many attempts it takes. Right. Whoa. Steady. Oh, I know why that is. Because I have... Oh, I've got to flick it over from my ACC. One second. Right, that's better. Back in the game now. So... This thing is this thing's quite lethal actually. I don't know why I'm worrying about the gear shifts. We don't need to worry about anything. Right. I told you I'll show you everything with these. So, first attempt. Marshall posts on the left. Let's go. On the right even. How's that downforce? Go, 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 go. It's gonna be flat all the way up the hill. Oh! Is that gonna be me off? Marshall's post on the right. Ah, oh, I've got a track limit. So it's going to be at least two attempts. Right. God, it's quite difficult at slow speed. Let's go. Right, Marshall's post on the right. But it's our second attempt. That's better, Rory. All about the hill. Just be careful of the corners or the rubber strips. Go. Right hand side. I'm actually going to brake a little bit because I'm not as quick as him. Go. Lift on the exit. Now we're looking for the first white line on the left. Get this thing all the way down all the way down careful on the exit because there's a nasty little bump there it's just a case of getting through here as quickly as you can we're keeping up with him so far just through here through here Marshall's post on the right probably being a bit conservative to be honest but it's okay for our first attempt run it wide and looking for the yellow paint on the floor here. Slam on the anchors. Get this thing slowed all the way down. See, even I broke a little bit late there, so bring it further back. Just be careful on the way up. Now we're looking for the 35R. Oh, I'm going to break at the start of it. It's weird, isn't it? I mean, I drive an electric car in real life, but this is weird. Go. Doing this without any gears. Then it's just a case of getting through here. Don't go off, 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 I've gone off. Is that going to ruin our time? I think it is. I think it's let us get away with it. What did we need? A 58, wasn't it? I'll check it anyway. 57, 58, it's definitely going to be too slow. Let's go again. But things were looking good, actually up until that point. So this is our third lap now. Let's see if we can do it in three. You've got versus our current best, so we're two tenths behind our current best at the moment. I actually went on the brakes a little bit there. But I'm up, or I will be by the time we get down to the bottom.
Careful. Go, 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 go. Marshall's on the right. There you go, and you can aim for that. Marshall's posted on the right, so you know when you're going to run out of road or not. Right, so learning from before, I'm going to break before the yellow. Go, get up the hill. Thirty five R break just at it. On the power on the way out, it's got great traction actually. I need to trust it more. So this is where I went wrong last time. It's a tricky corner this one. Get that nose in, then you can get on the power. Go, 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 go. Marshall's post on the left. Get it stopped. Slow down on the rumble strip. Go, 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 go. Open up. Pin it to the wall. Let's see if it is enough. 56, 57, 57, 5. Let's see if that's enough. Three laps. Well, two and a bit. Let's have a look. Is my 155, 157.504 enough? Come on. Yes. 2.55% off. And that's taken me... 16 minutes not bad to get 2 million credits but bear in mind though guys as well caveat you will need to keep an eye on that world record time because the three percent will fluctuate so don't be coming to me and saying it was good enough at that point but it wasn't afterwards you've got to keep looking at it but guys 2.55 percent in three laps it would have been two laps had i not messed up the first corner it may have even been one lap had I not made the other mistake, but another great opportunity to get yourself 2 million credits. Um, I hope you enjoyed that, guys. I hope it made sense. I hope my simple way of doing things makes things easier for you to get what you uh, get what you want in terms of this prize money. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. As I say, please do leave a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already as well. Yeah, spend them wisely, guys, and I will see you in another track guide very, very soon. See you later.